Yeah, there's no way that you're gonna be able to hide that in there. Shut up, Michael! It'll be dark in like two hours. Ugh, I'll be finished by then. You're going to completely dispose of my body within two hours? You've never done a day of manual labor in your entire life. You are 10,000% going to get eaten by a coyote. Well, then you can help me, Michael. <laughs> Absolutely not, Trisha. This is not my mess. I'd be damned if I'm getting myself involved. You are involved. You're like entirely involved. Like the single rarity of being involved. The single rarity? Yeah, you know, like when everything just comes together or whatever. Singularity? Of being involved, yes. Well, I'm not gonna say that's exactly my fault. Don't you start, I swear. Slowing down already, are we? No, it's hot out. Is it? Yes, and this outfit, well, although it is very stylish and cute, it's just not helping. do you have like work clothes in the car? <sighs> I'm not Amish, Michael. <sighs> Okay, honestly, Trisha, can we just like wrap this up? Because though watching you struggle with my body is like a little funny, it's mostly just very boring. You can just go, you know. Where? Where am I gonna go? I'm stuck here, just like you. You've got the whole world. You could go to like Quebec or, or something. Quebec? What am I, Don Quixote? I can't just go to Quebec. That's not how any of this works. Wait, so like how long is this gonna last? I don't know, Trisha. I don't have a haunting manual or anything. I swear, if I go through all of this and it is not oh, over. Believe me, the moment that all of this nonsense is done and over with, I will have died a very happy man. Ugh, I cannot do this anymore, Michael. I, I'm, I'm so over this. No, you can't just leave me there. A night creature is gonna get me or something. No, we gotta stick to the plan. You wrap me up in tarp, you put me in your trunk, you drop me off at the nearest police station, delicately, make sure that my hair still looks on point, you leave a note saying that I died saving the Boy Scouts of America, and then you attend a very nice open casket funeral for me, Trisha. This isn't all about you, Michael. How am I supposed to go to this wedding in two hours? They're all expecting me to give this really cute emotional toast. You think you're still gonna go to the wedding? I can't not go, Michael, they're expecting me. But how am I not gonna say anything? You've seen me with secrets. When Kelly got knocked up in Bali by that dude that was not Derek that summer, and I texted her promising not to say anything. Do you remember what happened? <laughs> you accidentally texted Derek. I accidentally texted Derek. That's funny. And if that was just me promising to not rat someone out about a baby, how am I supposed to not talk about, you know? Kind of murdering me a bit. Shh. Right. Ugh, fine, I'll finish it. Mm-hmm. What's wrong anyway? Huh? About dying happy. That never would have happened. Okay, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You were never happy, Michael, ever. Nothing was ever good enough. I mean, yeah, sure, I admit, I overreacted a bit sometimes. A bit. But I've had to put up with a lot these past couple years. All day, every day, I was just someone you could sulk to, just someone that you could have around, like some sort of Gucci security blanket. Oh, God, I swear, being someone's girlfriend, or whatever, mm -hmm. is so fucking unthankful. It's thankless. Cause we're just there and we do good things. You know, like when I have my assistant fill up your gas tank after we're done borrowing the Tesla, you know? Or when I ask your friends to help me throw a surprise birthday yacht party for you, even though it creeps me out when Josh Groban keeps talking about my boobs in front of me and you never tell him to stop. Well, Josh is pretty funny. Did you ever even once ask my friends what I wanted for my birthday? And oh, the jobs, oh, your jobs. I mean, don't get me started about that. A new job every month or like a new career. As if anybody really needs another influencer life coach, bandana stylist person. So no, Michael, you were never going to die happy. I just spared you the suspense and waiting to find out. It's 
what I thought. I told you that wouldn't work. Shut up, Michael! 